seems you're no worse for wear after all that hard work. Uh, it's nice to see you all. How did you know we'd be coming out here? We were told about your investigation into the underground. Dudley? Hell, even Moray and the Commander. He invited us. And you can't say no to that face. Yeah, she helped me get away from work to finally have my lunch, so it happened to work out. Looks like. This might have been overkill though, right? No way! Lunch is always more fun with tons of people. I wanted Shizuku to come too, but she had some stuff going on with her dad. That's too bad. And Elia wanted to go nuts on solo practice. That sounds like Elia to me. I'll just bring her something later. These kinds of get-togethers aren't so bad every once in a while. I guess. Just making it clear, we don't have anything special on the menu. No one is expecting a five-course meal. But I'll be making sure that whatever you eat is at least better than one of your cigarettes. Please don't. <laughs> something up, Lloyd? Oh, uh, I'm fine. It's more it's finally hitting me that we're home. I know it's just another day like the day before, but... Something about it feels so different. Yeah. I think we can all relate to that. I know I can. Everything we struggled through was so we could have moments like these. Mm-hmm. It's been a hard couple of years. And I'm so happy we pulled through. You're damn right we did. But the hard part's over. We got what we wanted. Now we gotta protect it. And we'll do it with gusto. Come on in, guys! I made a lot of food to perk you up for a hard afternoon.
It has been a long winter for Crossbell. Since becoming an Imperial province, no. Since we asserted our autonomy over 70 years ago, we have faced countless ordeals. We have been toyed with by neighbors, scarred by terrorism, upended by chaos, challenged by unknowns, and robbed of sovereignty. During the war, our home even served as the front line. Much had been taken from us in that bitter conflict. Such deep wounds are not easily healed. At times, they even go on to birth yet more tragedy. But no matter what hardships we faced, the people of Crossbell kept pride in their hearts. They weathered each and every storm, always dreaming of a brighter tomorrow. It is because of that, I believe, that we stand here today. As a fellow citizen of Crossbell, I wish to thank every one of you for never losing heart. This day, we begin a new page in the history of Crossbell, as well as for this whole continent. May we not dwell on the past. May we instead look toward a future where we all can move forward in harmony. I earnestly hope this ceremony marks our first step toward that future, serving as a beacon of hope to the children of our age. In the name of the Goddess of the Holy City of Artaria, I reassert the legitimacy of Crossbell State's independence. Speaker McDowell, please step forward once more. Stay your pen, Mr. Speaker. Hmm? This is some kind of joke, right? It's the former Governor General! Good day to you all, dear citizens of Crossbell. I do hope you will forgive my late arrival. think he's doing. I can't believe this is happening. We've got to stop them. How are they so well trained? Hell out of my way, assholes. This isn't looking good. Stand down, damn you. Everyone. Lord Rufus, what is the meaning of this? Why, I simply came to register my objection to that declaration you were about to sign. You see, this region's independence will be a defining moment for the continent as a whole. Should you not try to dream a little larger than becoming a church-sanctioned state? What do you mean? I thought I might suggest a more fitting form for Crossbell's independence. After all, I did once govern this region. Take your suggestions and shove it! What are you even doing here? We're supposed to be locked up in an Imperial jail. And who are those soldiers with you? Ah, what a pleasure it is to see you all again. I've simply come to address some unfinished business. 
As the primary member of the Iron Bloods, it falls to me to see that the late Chancellor's ambitions are realized. What do you mean by that? That fight's long over! Long time no see, SSS. It's time we got even for the way you humiliated us last month! You're the soldiers who occupied the city! But why? Damn it! I see every word we said fell on deaf ears. I'll have it your way. We'll defeat you as many times as it takes! Every last one of you is under arrest for terrorist threats against the people of Crossbell! Think we'll just let you have your way? Think again! <laughs> Take care of them, Ebon Defense Force. Glory to the Supreme Leader! We fight in his name! Let's wrap this up quick. Let's go! Yeah! All right! Ah! Raring to go! Break them! Raging Hammer! Raring to go. Hope you're ready. Yeah, huh? Corporal Driver set at maximum output. Ether. About time I got this started. Eat steel! Berserker! I'd just give up if I were you. Oh, you! These can't be the same guys from last month. Ha! You don't stand a chance against us as we are now. We are the Ebon Defense Force, and we live to serve our leader and our cause! It's that black aura they're giving off. It's like the Great Twilight's curse. This can't be happening. Or the SSS not winning. Hang in there, everyone. You can't lose to the likes of them! Kia, you can't give up! We need you! Damn right we ain't giving up. Not when we finally have the freedom we've been fighting for in sight. Exactly. We won't let you steal it from us! So long as the SSS is here, we won't let you turn back the clock! Everyone! Sorry to leave you hanging. We'll back you up. Well, Wazi, Risha. Right. Counting on you. Huh. However many of you there are, it makes no difference. <laughs> so long as the SSS is here, he says. What's so funny? Forgive me. I couldn't help myself. It pains me to see the people of this city clinging to such a pathetic delusion. As much as it does seeing you believe in it. But fear not. I shall put an end to this reverie. It is time for the rot to be purged from the minds of Crossbell's people. So that they may see the SSS for what it is. 
a symbol of how warped this land has become. You just love the sound of your own voice, huh? After me, everyone! We'll wipe that smirk right off his smug face! Your place is but the product of a delusion. Fall in line. Majestic Ray! Leave it to me. Thanks. Okay. You got this, right? I'll take care of it. Time I got this started. Eat steel, Berserker! I'd just give up if I were you. Behold my dance, an illusory offering to departing souls. Sleep. Embraced by Silver Lux! Fine! <laughs> Heavenly Thunder! Thanks. Thanks. Leave it to me. Thanks Thank you so much. Holy play. This has gone on long enough. <laughs> I hope you're prepared for this. I shall end this! Carve this into 
to your flesh. Right. Agrius Caliber. I'm sorry, everyone. Happening. How could the SSS lose? We... we haven't lost yet! Crossbell's dream of independence is finally about to come true! So we can't back down now. We will... We will have our freedom! L Lloyd... Lloyd... <sighs> the very picture of a hero. However, Crossbell has no need for you any longer. Now kindly get off the stage. <sighs> Can't go down now! Speak to us, please! Oh, no! They... lost? We're done for! Crossbell is finished! Far from it, my dear friends. This land will require the protection of the SSS, the police, and the Crossbell Guardian Force no longer. From now on, you will be kept safe by the Ebon Defense Force and my esteemed colleagues. Kidding me. Uncle Dieter? <gasps> What's the former president doing here? Uh, didn't that guy used to be with the Mafia? Is that really you, Uncle Dieter? The hell are you doing here, Garcia? Nice to see you, too. <laughs> oh, it's been too long since I could last experiment in this fair place. Isn't you? People of Crossbell, as you are aware, though the war may be over, this world remains in a state of chaos. To bring an end to disorder, we must come together as one as a united nation, without borders or state lines. And where better to begin working toward that goal 
than a place that has faced more hardship than any other. Should you accept my proposal, I promise to see this dream realized as the supreme leader of Crossbell. One land, united under Crossbell, we could be the center of the world? He's right. Even if we'd managed to be in an independent state again, it wouldn't have lasted. And maybe we'll be better off just doing as he says. Yeah. He's got that former president with him, too. Have you all lost your minds? Open your eyes! Glory to the Supreme Leader! Glory to Crossbell! Rufus! 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 What? What happened here? It's like... We're too late. Lloyd! Damn it all. This can't be happening. I thank you all for choosing to put your faith in me. Then, by your will, I hereby proclaim the establishment of the United Nation of Crossbell and the beginning of Zemuria's coalescence! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>